Right, we're going to look at inserting blank pages into documents here. So if I just get some text on my screen. So here I've just created a five page document. If I want to insert a blank page at the start of this document, if I press Control and Home, that will move my cursor to the very beginning. And then I can go to Insert and down to Blank Page. And that will give me a blank page at the start of my document. If I undo that, I can also hold down Control key and press Enter. And this inserts a page break. Now what that means is anything following your cursor will be pushed onto the next page. So it doesn't always give you a whole blank page. If I just scroll down and show you that again, if I just click here, press Control and Enter, you can see how it's moved the rest of my document onto a new page. And it's given me some blank space here because it's inserted a page break, but it hasn't given me a whole page. So they're slightly different, the two functions. So I'm just going to press Control and Enter again to put in yet another blank page into my document, as you can see. Now, if I want to delete any of these spaces, if I'm on my Home tab, I click on the Show Hide icon here. You can see here it shows me my page breaks. And all I do is click at the start of this one, press Delete on my keyboard. That's deleted the first page break. Delete that paragraph mark and the second page break and again the paragraph space there.